located at the north and the south ends of the gym. A concession stand is located in the cafeteria at the east end of the main hallway. We ask that you please use the trash receptacles located near the exits throughout tonight's time. Tuesday night, Minneapolis High School basketball. Ladies are at Abilene for a contest, contest with the Abilene Cowgirls. Minneapolis getting set to be introduced for this with starting lineups. Minneapolis will start their same five. Tournament week this week. Minneapolis on the road against the Abilene Cowgirls as the high school boys are in tournament action at Sterling. And next week will be the Lady Lions turn for their uh, tournament. Alyssa George being introduced. Second one of the four seniors at start. Abilene shows three girls listed at six foot. Minneapolis will have the work cut out for them on the defensive end. Stephanie Alderson, another senior, Megan Livengood, the fourth senior for the Lady Lions starters. <laughs> Mallory Goa, 5'10", junior, rounds out the starters for the Lady Lions. Just a few minutes away from the start. <laughs> Minneapolis in the road blues, and Abilene's in the home white. <laughs> Coach Darrell giving last second instruction, and the ladies take the floor. JV girls played a pretty good game this evening, coming away with a five-point victory against the uh, Cowgirls. And we're just a few seconds away from the tip. Mallory to jump center for the Lady Lions. Heather McDonald for the Cowgirls. Abilene controls the tip. Lady Lions set up in 2-3 defense. They're going to swing the ball. Heather McDonald, or McDonald is going to go to go to blue off turnover on white. Megan Limagood with good position backing up for that rebound. The ball's tipped out of bounds. Off white stays Minneapolis to take over on turnover. Inbound to Lindsay. Abilene playing man-to-man -man defense, full court. Across the timeline, get the ball to Megan at the top of the key. Megan sets up looking for a cutter. Takes a dribble in. Stephanie pops out to the top. Mallory pops the top. She breaks for the basket. Stephanie backs out with a dribble. This with a nice jump stop. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. They could hear skin slapping clear up here, but no foul called. Many Apples controls. Mallory's got the ball out top of the key. Lissa jumps out. She's got the ball. Kicks it over to Lindsay. Lindsay, top the key right side, kicks it to Megan who jumps out top looking for a cutter. Mallory posts up in the middle. Stephanie has the ball top the key right side. Mallory with the ball in the middle. She takes a step, gets the ball into Lindsay. Lindsay kicks it out to Megan. Megan with the ball left corner, back up top to Lissa. Lissa with penetration, dribbles in, shoots off the glass and Abilene controls the rebound. Lady Lions hustle back, set up in the 2-3 zone. 
Now going to step out on the wing. They'll get a hand back there and post, post the middle. And swing it around to the left. That ball goes through. Adelaide's legs out of bounds on the turnover. Minneapolis to inbound. Abilene with pressure on the inbound. They're man-to-man -man defense. Full court pressure. Stephanie Alderson crosses the timeline. She kicks the ball into Lissa. Lissa with a nice dribble move. Kicks it back out to Lindsay. Lindsay goes up for the shot, and we're going to get called for the foul. That's going to be foul number. First foul called on 11, Whitney Kinney, six-foot senior for the Cowgirls. That'll put Lindsay Perry on the line, shoot two. Just under two minutes gone in the game. Minneapolis goes to the free throw line. Lindsay's first free throw attempt is up and off. Lindsay's second free throw attempt's on the way, and it's good. Lines drop back in the 2-3 zone. Abilene swings it. Back top to key, swings it back over the left side. They drop it down low to the post, number 34. Banks it off the glass. Good for two. Abilene takes a 2-1 lead. Perry with the ball. She's got the dribble. She's moving up court. Kicks it back into the middle. Kicks it over the side to Stephanie Allerson. That ball stolen away. Bad pass. Megan Livengood there to pick it up. Livengood swings it over to George on the side. George back out top. Takes the right side to Lindsey Perry. And Wayne kicks it into the middle to Mallory Goeth. Mallory goes up for the shot. The ball is tipped by Abilene. It's going to go out of bounds. Minneapolis will inbound under their own basket. 5.19 to go in the period. Abilene with a 2-1 lead. Oh. Lindsey Perry to pull the trigger for the line. She kicks it to George. George, nice little 10-footer. Good for two. Natalie kicks down the right corner, back out top to Keita, looking for the post in the middle. Swings it back over to the left side. Defense sags down on the post. Number 34 opens the top of the key. She puts up a shot, rebounded by Lindsey Perry. Minneapolis with a 3-2 lead. 4.40 to go in the first period. George with the ball across the timeline. Skip pass over to the right side to Perry. Perry drops it down to George. George puts it in down low to Mallory Goeth. Mallory goes up for a nice shot. She's fouled. She'll go to the line and shoot two. That foul's, foul's called on Samantha Venema. Second team foul for the Cowgirls. I put Mallory on the line shooting two. Mallory's first free throw is up and off the rim. Brooke Pischel checks in for the Lady Lions. She'll take Stephanie Alderson's place. Mallory's second free throw attempts up, and it's all net. Minneapolis with a 4-2 lead. Abilene kicks it up down to the corner, back out top of the key. They're going to look inside. Alyssa gets a hand on that ball. She takes off, headed for the other way. Gets it ahead to Lindsey Perry. Lindsey off the glass. And we're going to get a foul called on Lindsey Perry, I believe. Official said she reached in and grabbed the arm. It'll be first team foul on the Lady Lions. Abilene to inbound. Evelyn swings it over to the left side to kick it clear back across the court, back up top. We've got a ball inside, and we're going to get Brooke Pichel whistle for the foul. That'll put Tony Bronson on the line for the Cowgirls shooting two.
Brooke Fischel's first personal second team foul on the Lady Lions. First free throw attempts up and in. Makes score 4-3, Lions. Jordan Crossan checks in for Megan Livengood and Anna White checks in for Mallory Goeth. Second free throw attempts up and it's off the rim. Jordan Crossan goes up for a nice rebound. Jordan, 5'10", freshman, seeing some varsity action lately. Doing a good job. Lindsey Perry with the dribble out top. She gets five the second count called on her. Turnover will go to the Lady the Cowgirls from Abilene. Minneapolis with a 4-3 four, four, lead. Abilene gets it down to the corner, back out to the wing. They drop it in over top. Bronson takes it in off the glass for two. 5-4 Abilene. Crossing gets the ball into George. George Bring it up the floor across the timeline. George gets the ball over to Perry. Perry looking for a cutter. Anna White pops out to the top. And drop it down inside to Jordan. Jordan kicks it outside to Alyssa George. Alyssa, Alyssa's pass tipped away. Anna White tips it back out to Brooke Fischel and Brooks out top of the ball. Brooke gets it inside to Jordan. Ball's put on the floor, Ball tied up. Minneapolis will retain possession on the alternate possession. Stephanie Alderson checks in for Alyssa George. Just under three minutes to go in the first period. Abilene with a 5-4 lead. Lindsey Perry kicks it into Brooke Fischel. Brooke takes it up to Stephanie Alderson. He drops it back down to Lindsey, back up to Steph. Steph dribbles it around to the right, swings it back to the left. Brooke cutting down on the baseline. Anna White with the ball. Lindsey kicks it across court to Brooke on the right wing. Anna from the top of the key. That's good. Nice bucket by Anna White. Lady Lions take a 6-5 lead. Two and a half minutes to go, first period. Abilene swings the ball around. High post has it. She shoot, Abilene shoots a three. McDonald goes up for the rebound. Comes down with it, comes right back. Down with it, and Fischl swistle for her second foul. That puts Heather McDonald on the line for the Cowgirls shooting two. Alyssa George and Megan Livengood back up off the bench for the Lady Lions, set to come in the game. McDonald's first free throw attempt's good. Mallory Gullick checks back in also. Brooke Fischel, Jordan Cross, and Anna White come off the floor for the Lady Lions. McDonald with her second free throw attempt on the way. It's up, it's off the front of the rim. Minneapolis with no block out, and Bronson Skates around, picks up the rebound, puts it back in for a two. That gives Abilene an 8-6 lead early. Livengood kicks it over to the left to George. She brings it back to the center, top of the key. Stephanie Alderson pops out and takes it. Stephanie kicks it over to the right side to Megan. Lisa George with the ball now on the right wing. Lindsey Perry pops out the top, swings it over to Mallory to the left wing. Looking for Steph. Steph I in a three. Lisa George from the free throw line off a nice pass from Lindsey Perry. That's two points for Alyssa George. Alyssa with two buckets here in the first period. It ties the score at eight all. Bronson takes a shot that's over everything, and George with a nice block out gets the rebound. Hands it off to Perry, and we're set to go the other way. Perry across the timeline. Mallory to the top of the key. Kicks it over to Alderson on the left wing. Looking for movement. Alderson swings it over, backs it back out the top. Number 10's over playing George. 
Alderson with the ball on the right wing, kicks it out top of the key to Livengood. Livengood swings it to the left wing to Perry. We're going to get number 10, Brooke Langdon. Trail on Alyssa George coming across the lane. She's push, pushing. She's getting whistled for the foul. That'll be Langdon's first third team foul for the Cowgirls. Minneapolis to inbound on the side. 39.4 seconds to go in the first period. Alderson inbounds to George. George with a nice step dribble. And Langdon's going to get called for her second foul right quick. Foul Alyssa George in the act of shooting. That'll put Alyssa on the line to shoot two. Alyssa's first free throw attempts is up and in. Alyssa, Alyssa with five of the nine points for the Lady Lions right now. She's at the line getting ready to shoot her second free throw. Abilene makes a substitution. Alyssa's second free throw attempts up and it's good. So Alyssa's out of the box early tonight with a hot hand. Minneapolis takes a 10-8 lead. Abilene spots up for a three. Live and good gets a hand on it, and that pass is thrown away. Mallory Gillis steps in front and picks it off. Many apples headed the other way. Lindsey Perry with the ball with 15 seconds to go in the first period. Look for the Lady Lions to get the ball down in. Look for last shot. Nice pick by Mallory. Mallory's cutting to the basket. Couldn't get there. She's sealed off by number 11 for the Cowgirls. Ball goes out of bounds. Turnover to the Cowgirls. 6.2 seconds left to go in the quarter. Abilene shoots a three at the buzzer, and it's no good. Minneapolis will take a 10-8 lead at the end of the first quarter. Good look, good look by the ladies. They come out, come out of the gates playing good defense, good looks at the basket. Coach has a game plan, and uh, looks like the ladies are following that game plan pretty good. So we'll be back with second quarter action here shortly. Second quarter action set to start. Abilene Cowgirls will inbound. Minneapolis going to set back in their 2-3 zone. Defense looked good in the first quarter. Denying most everything down low, which they're working on right now. Minneapolis playing good defense getting around there. Mallory gave up the step on the baseline. Stephanie Alderson reaches in there and gets a Stephanie Alderson gets in there and gets a hand on the ball, rips it away from Abilene, but backside official calls her for a foul. It'll be Stephanie Alderson's first foul, and it'll be the fourth team foul on the Lady Lions. Both Abilene and Minneapolis with four team fouls. Lions are playing hustle ball. Abilene throws it away. Good defense by the Lady Blue. Megan Livengood set to trigger it in for the Lady Lions. Abilene sets up full court pressure. Gets it into Alyssa George. Alyssa turns around, heads the other way. Alyssa across the timeline. Swings it to the middle to Megan. Megan looking for Lindsay. Lindsay pops up on the right side, right side wing. Nice move by Mallory to go up. Nice move by Mallory. Little contact down there on that shot. No foul called. Abilene picks up the loose ball and heads the other way. They swing it up top. Minneapolis is going to have to do a little bit better defense. And they swing that pass around over the top of the defense like that. Abilene with a bucket tied score at 10 all. Nice give and go. Nice give and go, but look by Alyssa George, and then Stephanie drops it down low. The ball hits the floor. Mallory dives down to pick it up, and we get a tie-up. Minneapolis will inbound on the alternate possession. Lindsey Perry to key it in. 
She gets it right in the middle to Mallory. Once again, contact down low, and the official just not going to call that. They're going to let him play. Abilene swings it around to the right side, and there they go, dropping it up again. Mallory, a good pair of hands to get in there and tear that ball loose on the overthrow. We're going to get three second violation on the Cowgirls as they camp out in the lane. The official finally had a count on that thing, and we're going to get a violation. Minneapolis inbound. Stephanie Alderson with the ball, kicks it back to Alyssa George. Alyssa's going to clear the timeline. This sets up the offense. Somebody needs to cut to the ball. Coach Darrow calls a 30 second timeout as Minneapolis is close to getting a five second call on the defense. Just under two minutes gone in the second quarter. Scores tied 10 all. Team fouls are even at four apiece. Lady Blues hustling on the defensive end. Just a couple times we've let the ball come over on that lob pass over the top on the weak side. Minneapolis not chasing quick enough. Had a couple easy buckets down low, but other than that, de defense has been a premium for the Lions tonight. They shut down the big six footers. Minneapolis inbound on the side. Alderson gets it into Perry. Perry crosses the timeline. Stephanie gets it down to the corner to Megan, kicks it back out to Stephanie. Stephanie looks, pops it over to Anna White, middle, and swings it to the right side to Lindsay. Lindsay takes a dribble, jump step, stop, and it's up and in. Good shot. Nice dribble penetration by Lindsay get the two-point goal. Minneapolis takes a 12-10 lead. And the big post for Abilene are camping down in that lane again. And the foot's on the line. That'll be a two. Minneapolis got a hand. That ball's off white. It's going to go blue. Minneapolis had a hand on that rebound, but unable to control the ball. Jordan Crossman. Crossman checks in for Megan Live and Good. Lisa George set to trigger it in for the Lady Blue. She throws it too far over the head of Lindsey Perry. The ball goes out of bounds. Minneapolis turns the ball over to Abilene. Lady Lions with a 10 12 lead. 5 16 to go in the half. Abilene inbounds over the top to McDonald. Minneapolis not blocking out. And Bronson steps in there. And how is that not a foul? Number 32 come over her back to get the ball. Official standing right there doesn't whistle the foul. Instead, he out of bounds. Minneapolis inbound. Mallory Goeth checks back in for Anna White. Minneapolis have a little trouble with the inbounds pressure. Unable to get the ball in two times in a row. Lisa George takes a good step to the buck or inbounds passer and she picks up the pass. Nice move by Alyssa to get around her defender. Stephanie Alderson on the left wing with the ball. Looks at Lindsey Perry cutting. Lindsay was a little high off the glass. Abilene controls the rebound. McDonald takes a McDonald takes a shot, eight feet from the goal, and it's in. Gives Abilene a 14-12 lead. That is not a backcourt violation.
I thought that, I thought that one point, or you had to have two of the three points over to make it a backcourt violation. But I could be wrong. I have been before. So Abilene on the turnover. They're swinging it top of the key. Go to the right side. Little dribble penetration inside. They're going to skip it clear across to the left. And drop it inside to McDonald. Mallory steps in front of that and deflects that ball. Minneapolis takes care of the turnover. They're headed the other way. Very across the timeline over to Alderson. Alderson dribbles to the middle. George comes up, picks up the pass. George swings it over to the left. Mallory, Mallory way outside. Mallory with a nice pass to Crossan. And we're going to get a foul called on number 11 for holding Whitney Kinney, six foot senior, for the Cowgirls. And I think that's her second foul. Mallory with a nice drive. The basket dumps off past to Jordan Crossan. Jordan getting ready to go up for the shot. It was fouled by Kinney. Ball's kicked out to Alderson to top the key and set the offense. Minneapolis trails 14-12. Perry with the ball. She takes a nice little dribble step. Mallory working inside. Perry with the, or Crossan with the rebound. Crossan goes up for the rebound and she puts that ball up and in and she scores and is fouled. We'll have an and one. Good work by Jordan Crossan down low. That's Abilene's sixth team foul. One more, the Lady Lions will be in the one-on-one -on -one bonus. Jordan Crossan at the line, shooting one free throw. Jordan's free throw attempt is up. It's off, but Alyssa George with good rebound position. And that ball's tipped out of bounds by Abilene. Minneapolis will inbound under their own goal. <coughs> nice hustle by Alyssa to take the inside position away for that. And then Mallory goes in for two off the inbounds pass, and she scores the bucket. So Minneapolis took a 16-14 lead there. Just over three minutes to go in the half. Abilene's swinging the ball, looking for the inside, trying to open that post up. And Jordan Crossan's a little slow in getting there. She moves her feet just a little bit too slow, trying to cut McDonald off going to the basket. And then McDonald puts the shot up. Jordan fouls her. She'll go to the line shoot two. 3.01 to go in the half. Minneapolis with a 16-14 lead. McDonald at the line to shoot two. First free throws up and on its way, and it's hard off the rim. Donald second free throws up and it's off. Minneapolis having a hard time controlling that rebound. Not getting good block outs, block outs on the rebound. Abilene able to slip down there and get that. Abilene rolls one in off the glass for two. Cross gets the ball into George. That ties the score at 16 all with 235 left to go in the half. George with an open deal to the bucket. Official whistles Alyssa for carrying the ball. It's going to be a turnover. Megan Livengood checks back in for Jordan Crossan. Jordan comes out after playing a couple good minutes there for the Lady Lions. 2.25 left to go in the half. Minneapolis, Abilene, 16 all. Abilene sets up for a three. Lindsey Perry hustles to get that rebound as she's fallen out of bounds, toss it over top. Mallory chases it down. Minneapolis with the ball. Swings it over to the left side to George. George out top waiting for the defense to come pick her up. Kicks it back outside to Mallory, and we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the defense to come get us. 
How is that not a foul? They reached in, they grabbed her arm. Unbelievable. And that official stand down there and watch it. Minneapolis whistle for the turnover. So Abilene with the ball inbounds. Minute 40 to go on the half. Score tied 16 all. Mallory steps out and fouls 32. She'll go to the line to shoot to. Team fouls even at six apiece. A minute and a half to go in, in the first half. Samantha Fenema is up the line shooting two. First throws up and in. And I've never seen a more awkward, awkward shot in my life. Oh, that is, that is completely unorthodox. Liven good rebounds the missed free throw. Perry's headed the other way. She kicks it down court to Alyssa. Alyssa's going to hold up. We're going to set the offense. Alyssa kicks it out to Megan. Megan trying to go over the top. Turnover on Lady Lines. Aveline with a 17-16 lead. We got a tie up. Mallory steps in here and takes the ball. And if looks could kill, <laughs> that ball would be dead. Aveline has the ball on the alternate possession. They're going to inbound under their own basket with a minute four left to go. Minneapolis couldn't have defended that any better. It was just a... And the Lady Lions are going to go to the free throw line. I believe that foul, foul is going to be called on number 20 for the Cowgirls. That'll put Alyssa George on the line, shooting a one and one Alyssa George at the line shooting the front end of a one one Minneapolis trails by three, 19-16 with 54 seconds to go. The free throws up and off. Mallory up with a big board. She goes back up and in, and we're going to get another and one. Nice, nice position by Mallory on that rebound. Snuck in there and took it away from Abilene. She puts it back up and in, and she's fouled. And count the bucket, and they haven't put the score up on there. We did. So Mallory with a chance to tie the score here on her free throw attempt, and that free throw's off. Abilene with the rebound. We're headed the other way. They get it down, they drop it into the, and we got a walk called on McDonald as she's trying to back into the lane. Turnover by Abilene, Minneapolis to inbound. Abilene will put full court man to man pressure on again. Perry slips by her defender, and she's bringing the ball up court. Lindsay crosses the timeline. 35 seconds to go in the half. Alyssa George with the ball over on the right side, or left side. Nice crossover dribble. Alyssa gets called for the palm and the ball again. That's the second time. Abilene to inbound on the turnover. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Minneapolis trailed by one, 19-18. We're going to get three-second violation called on the Cowgirls again. That calls there all night long if the official would just make it. Lions get the ball in. Lindsey Perry bringing it up. Gets across half court. Stephanie Alderson on the wing. Back out to Lindsey Perry at top. Swings it over to Megan. Mallory with a nice move to the bucket. And we're going to get a foul called on McDonald over the back. That's going to put Megan Lavengood on the line shooting a one-on-one. And White comes in, takes Mallory's place. Last 
second and a half to the half. Heather McDonald whistled for her first personal foul. Megan Lavengood goes to the line to shoot the front end of one and one. Megan's first free throw attempt is short. And the half ends with the Lady Lions trailing by one, 19-18. Good half by the ladies. Minneapolis playing good defense. They're able to shut down the big gals underneath for the most part. And they go to halftime trailing, 19-18. We'll be back in a little bit with second half action. Second half action about to get underway. Minneapolis Abilene, Lady Lions trail by one, 1918 and a half. Uh, few statistics here for the Lady Lions in the first half. Lindsey Perry with three points. Alyssa George with six. Anna White with two. Mallory Goeth with five. And Jordan Crossan with two. Lady Lions pretty balanced with their score, and they've had some uh, good defense. All the ladies have been playing good defense tonight. If I can get this mic set. Uh, yeah, Brooks got two. I'm missing. I'm missing one foul somewhere. We had six fouls to end the in the half, and I've only got five accounted for. Lindsey Perry with one, Brooke Fischel with two, Stephanie Alderson with one, and Mallory with one. Did uh, I don't know, did Megan Lavin good pick one up or not? I don't think she did. We'll just wait till the second half starts and I'll find out where that other foul's at. We're about a minute or so away from the start of the second half. Lady Lions doing a good job down low. Good first half, they uh, sealed off that paint that Abilene's got to six foot, five ten girl on that paint. It's kind of tough to keep them off that glass, but did a real good job. I thought defensively, and those buckets will start falling on the other end and uh, find herself the lead here in the second half. But that's a couple easy ones in close, and we can easily be in the lead by four or five here. You know, the officials are letting them play, too. Uh, it's pretty physical down there, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but our ladies seem to be doing okay with it. And May Apples will have the inbound to start the second half. Lions will start the same five they started the game with. Lindsey Perry will trigger it in to start the second half. And as soon as we can get the crowd cleared away from the sideline over there, we'll be underway. And here we go. Lindsay gets the ball into Stephanie on the wing. Lindsay cutting to the bucket. They're not going to get out on her. I thought she was going to take that shot. They're going to drop it down to Megan. Megan gets up and makes a nice move. Up and in for two. Excellent move by Megan on that. Nice turnaround look, fake the dribble. Went the other way, put it off the glass for two. Minneapolis takes a 2019 lead. Abilene kicks it out the top, swing back down to the left side. Back out to the top, over to the right side. They're looking to get it in into the middle, and they do, but Minneapolis is there with a the hand, and Lindsey Perry picks up the loose ball. We're headed the other way. They're looking to get that ball into the big gals in center, and Minneapolis just denying that middle play. That ball is going to be off white, and no, the official says it's off of blue. We're going to go the other way. Mallory with a good look down there. Shot was just off. Minneapolis unable to control the rebound. It goes off blue out of bounds. Abilene skips that across their big gal. They're going to drop it inside. That should be a three-second call, but we're not going to get that call. Them big girls back up in the paint, and they just post up there. Number 34, we're finally going to get a three-second call. She, she's looking at the official like what, and she just she never clears herself completely out of the lane. 
you have to take yourself completely out of the lane. And Megan, standing out of bounds on the tip ball, catches it, and it'll be a turnover for against Lady Lions. We'll stay with Abilene. But on that three-second call, you have to clear your whole body out of the paint. You can't just take a foot out. Coach Darrell trying to get the official's attention to get the ball rack out of the way. It's down there on the baseline. So Abilene to inbound. Abilene trails 19 to 20. Big post takes a shot from the free throw line. That's good. Abilene takes 21-20 lead. Megan's not... She stands there looking at the ball. She needs to get that ball inbounds. Another turnover back-to-back -back by the Lady Lions. They skip the ball over cross court. Steph gets a hand on it to deflect it. Abilene able to pick it up. They kick it to the inside. They're going to swing it down. Mallory's whistle for her second foul. Mallory says, not in my house. Lady Lions pick off the rebound there. Went through three guys' hands, and Stephanie Alderson finally controls it. Lindsey Perry crossed the timeline for the blue. <laughs> Alyssa George is grabbed by the arm, drug out of bounds, and the official calls the Lady Lions for the out-of-bounds turnover. Abilene to inbound. They kick it down low in the right corner, kick it back out top of the key. Swing it over to the left side. That's third foul on Mallory. She's going to come out of the ball game and take a seat on the bench. Brooke Pischel and Anna White's going to come into the game. Stephanie Alderson and Mallory sit, take a seat. They've leaned inbound under their own goal. Nice hand by Lindsay to Nice hand by Lindsay to knock that ball out of bounds. Good hustle. The officials whistle Brooke Pischel with the foul. That's Brooke's third. What well, was a pretty physical game in the first half that let him get away with some things. They're calling a whole lot tighter right now. McDonald's first free throw is off the front of the rim. No good. It's kind of hard for the girls to get adjusted to that when the game's called a certain way, you know, for so long and then turn around and start the second half. We're going to call it a different way. Second free throw attempts hard off the glass or off the rim. Aveline rebounds, puts it back up and in. Alyssa George crosses the center line, hands it off to Lindsey Perry. We're going to set the offense. Minneapolis trails 23-20, 5-16 to go in the third quarter. Pass it over to Brooke Pichel on the wing. She's going to dribble back out the top. Coach Darrell's trying to get a call from the official, and he's just not having it. He's not hearing it. Minneapolis turns it over on a bad pass. Abilene steps out and shoots a three. They control the rebound. Lindsay gets a hand on that, deflects that ball. They're going to look for a skip pass clear across court. Number 32 is standing wide open. It's going to be a backcourt violation on the Cowgirls. And Minneapolis will have the ball on the turnover. Four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Minneapolis trails 23-20.
Looks to George inbounds to Megan Livengood who kicks it over to Lindsey Perry to set the offense. Stephanie brings it back to the middle. Down to the wing to Brooke Fischel who kicks it back out top of the key to Megan. Megan kicks it over to the left side to Lindsey. Alyssa in the lane. We're going to get number 32, White, I hope, over the back. Brooke had inside. Yeah. I was beginning to wonder there that Brooke had good inside position. Minneapolis will in inbound under their own goal. Lindsay inbounds to Alyssa in the corner. She kicks it out to the wing. To... That ball's tapped out of bounds by Abilene. Minneapolis will inbound. Lindsey Perry inbound for the Lady Lions on the side. Anna White comes over and sets the screen. She gets it into Alyssa George down the corner. Back out the top to Lindsey. She backs up, sets the offense. Brings it over to the right wing to Brooke Pichel. Brooke kicks it over to the middle to Megan at the top. Megan, sloppy pass, stepped in front by number 21 for Abilene. She took 20, she takes the length of the floor and scores. Makes the score 25-20, Abilene. Lindsay with some nice ball handling there. Good pressure put on by number 20. Coach Darrow's going to call full timeout. We're going to talk this over. Oh, Cowgirls have outscored Minneapolis 6-2 so far to start the second half. But again, there we've had some turnovers that have been costly. Defensive pressure. Ladies aren't handling it well. They take care of the ball. Now we're set with three and that hurts her defensive rebounding quite a bit. Mallory with three fouls and she's on the bench. Brooke Fisher with three fouls and I believe Brooke's still in the ball game. Yes, she is. So reset the lines, Lindsey Perry, Anna White, Brooke Fischel, Alyssa George, and Megan Livengood. 331 left to go in the third period. Minneapolis trails 25-20. Lady Lions will inbound on the side, half court. Lions get called for a five second call. Somebody has to jump out even in the back court to be a safety valve. They gotta, gotta give Lindsay a chance to get the ball into them. I mean, kicks the ball clear down the corner, back out the top, back down to the corner. They're looking to back that post down and trying to set something up inside, Cowgirls. They're gonna swing it over to the other side. Lindsay steps in front of that pass and picks it off. We're going the other way. Lions need to get a score here. George passes it over on the left side to Pichel. Pichel brings it back to the top. Minneapolis touch ball last. It rolls out of bounds. Jordan Crossan and Stephanie Alderson will check back in for the Lady Lions. Megan Livengood and Brooke Pischel comes out. 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Lions trail 25-20. We're going to skip it clear across court. Jordan Crossan there for a nice defensive stop. 
jump ball, and it's going to stay with the Abilene Cowgirls. Pop it in over the top, and there's another jump ball, and now the Lady Lions will have it. Good hands by Lindsey Perry stepping in there to tie that ball up. Lindsey brings it across the timeline. Dabbling the man-to-man -man defense. Lissa George top, top the key with the ball. She gets it over to Lindsey Perry. Lindsey's whistle for a double dribble. Turn over to Abilene. Abilene inbounds on the side. Just under two minutes to go in the third period. Abilene sets up for a 15-footer, and it's good. That gives Calgary a 27-20 lead. And they're going to call 10 white. They're going to call 10 white with the block. <laughs> Mallory's going to check back in for Anna White. Minneapolis will inbounds. It's Abilene's second team foul of the half. Another turnover by the Lady Lions, and Abilene's headed the other way. She takes that step right before she shoots. That should be a whack. Neaps gets the ball over to Alderson on the wing. George has the ball top of the key. Another turnover by the Lady Lions. Brooke Pacer checks in for Lindsey Perry. We're under a minute to go in the third quarter. Lady Lions trail 29 20. They're going to stand out top, dribble, and they're going to hold for the Lions to come out and play the defense. Lions content with just sitting back, sitting back to wait on Abilene to take off on the offense. They're going to run it down to 10 seconds before they start a start an offensive move. Here they go. Lady Lions still in that 2-3 zone. Three-point shot up by the Abilene Cowgirls. And Alyssa George steps in to grab the ball, and she gets arm as Abilene goes back up for a shot on the rebound. And that's Alyssa's first foul. Fourth team foul for the Lady Lions. Fenham is at the line shooting two. 1.1 second left to go in the period. Gets a shooter's roll on that one, and it drops in. Ten-point lead now for the Cowgirls after having a one-point lead to start the quarter. Second free throws up, and it's off. There again, Abilene beats us to the block, and Minneapolis not blocking out on that. We haven't, we haven't blocked out all night on free throws. Well, Abilene outscored us by nine that period. 
Minneapolis trail by one at, at halftime, down by 10 now to start the fourth quarter. Lions are going to have to toughen up on the D and eliminate some of them turnovers so we can get the offense on track. when you don't get a shot, a shot on goal. Uh, it would be different if they were getting a shot off and not getting the offensive rebound, but to not even get a shot. <laughs> Abilene will have the ball to inbound start the fourth quarter. We'll see if Minneapolis can get that defense tightened up. Nice hustle by Alyssa George. Brook turns around after the turnover and tosses it right into Abilene. Lindsey Perry's there to pick off the long rebound for the Lions. She gets it across the timeline to Alyssa George. Alyssa bringing it down on the wing, kicks back out the top to Lindsay. The app's looking for cutters. I'm gonna say, holy cow, she's all over her arm and he finally get delayed whistle. Standing right there, right beside her. So Minneapolis will have the inbound on the foul. It's only a third team foul for the Cowgirls. Minneapolis with four. Alyssa George will trigger it in for the ladies on the side. Gets it into Brooke Pichel. Brooke brings it over to the center. Now kicks it over to Lindsay. Back over to Brooke. They look inside the mouth. The ball's tipped. Abilene call for the travel. Lackadaisical pass over the top and it gets picked off. Lindsay with good pressure there, almost gets a turnover. Abilene's gonna call timeout. I think Coach Darrell's trying to get the girls to trap one once they get cut across half court. You know, 10 points down with under seven minutes to go in the game. We're going to have to start trapping now. Every possession is going to become critical here if the ladies expect to get back in this. When we can trap like this, we can kind of stay in that 2-3 zone and not have to go to the man-to-man -man yet. Yeah. So ladies come out of the timeout. Abilene will inbounds from the side. Lines are back in the 2-3, but Lindsay's putting pressure out top. And Mallory's going to get called for the foul. She's got to move her feet and get position on that rebound. She can't jump in from the side like that. That's four fouls on Mallory. Anna White's coming in for her. She's going to take a seat on the bench. Abilene inbounds. Get, kick it out the top, bring it over to the right side, down to the right corner. They're looking to the back side. They swing it to the back side. They're looking to pack down the 
post player. Anna White, slow getting there on the recovery, and Heather McDonald, McDonald puts one off the glass and banks it in. She's going to go to the free throw line to shoot one. Yeah, I thought they gave that foul to Anna. McDonald to the line to shoot one. Free throw attempts up, and it's off. Lindsay Perry hustles and tracks it down. Melissa George crosses the timeline. You get it back out to the front. Kicks back over to Lissa. Stephanie sets up from the corner for three. It's just off the rim. They're going to get Bronson with a foul. She runs into Live and Good. Fourth, fourth team foul for the Cowgirls. 5.53 to go in the game. Minneapolis trails by 12. Lady Lions will inbound under her own goal. Lindsay triggers it into Anna, who banks it off the glass for two. Ladies need pressure under six minutes. They need pressure. Stephanie slips out, put a little pressure on the ball. They're going to. Abilene's going to get a 30 second timeout. Many apps needs to be careful because that. Weak side post is wide open down there on the baseline. They're going to skip a pass back across there. If Minneapolis isn't quick enough, they'll either draw the foul or she'll have an easy look. Couple of them. Her last two fouls were silly fouls. She shouldn't have picked those up. So Lions take the floor with 5.26 to go in the game. Trailing by 10. Abilene to inbound, half court. Minneapolis is going to pressure. Looks like they're picking up man to man. Abilene drops it over the top. Melissa George playing good defense. She walked. And that gal has got a surprised look on her face every time the official whistles her for a, for an afraid fraction. Minneapolis inbounds, trailing 10, just under five minutes to go. Look for the good shot. Perry spots up from three on the wing. It's just off. Abilene heads the other way. That was a walk. Official not even paying attention. Minneapolis needs to get out there and put some pressure on there. They'll just take as much time off the clock as they can. Four minutes to go. Minneapolis still trails by 10. They drop one over the top. Drop one over the top to McDonald's. She lays it off the glass. It's good for two for the Cowgirls. They take a 12-point lead. Coach Darrell calls full timeout. 3.41 to go in the game. Minneapolis trails by 12. 34-22. 
Looks like Coach Darrow's put uh, Crossan and Mallory, Jordan and Mallory back in the game. We're going to go with. Let's do it. We're going to go with Jordan Mallory and probably Alyssa down low, Stephanie and Lindsay up top. Lions probably coming out in a man-to-man pressure defense. Not too many points here in the second half. Abilene tightened up that defense after halftime, and we haven't had too many good looks. Minneapolis only been able to put four points on the board since the half. So Lady Blue inbounds on the side. 3.41 to go in the game. They're trailing by 12. Need to get a good look at the ball, at the basket. Quick look, get a good shot. Kick it down to Stephanie in the corner, back out to Lindsay. Stephanie has it down the corner, back out to Lenz. Lenz tries to drop it over the top to Mallory and it's picked off by one of those six foot seniors for Abilene. Jordan, if she'd have held her ground there, she might have picked up a charge. <laughs> McDonald camping in the lane. She gets called for three seconds, and she has no idea why. But as I said earlier, you got to get your whole body out of that lane. You can't just take a foot out. George has it on the wing. She drops it down to Alderson. Not even have a shadow in it <laughs> Kick that ball across court to Lindsay. Lindsay has it on the wing. Alderson back to Lindsay on the wing. They kick it out top to Mallory. Mallory swings it over to Alyssa George. Alyssa with a nice dribble move. There's Jordan Crossan for the putback. It's going to be an end run. Jordan with a good ball game. Nice rebound by Jordan. Jordan's free throw attempts up and off the front of the rim. Minneapolis down 10, 34-24 with two and a half minutes to go. Lions playing man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> Lindsey brings across the timeline. Try and drop it into Jordan. That ball's tipped out, but Stephanie runs it down. Lissa has it on the wing, kicks it back over to Lindsay on the left side. Mallory takes a dribble in the middle. She goes up. And they're going to get number 44 for her fifth foul. Mallory will be sitting on the bench watching the rest of this one. Going to put McDonald on the line, shooting a one of one. Lions trail by 12. Free throw attempts up and in. Second free throw attempts up and it's off. Lindsey Perry tracks down the long rebound. Two minutes to go. Ladies trail by 13. The pass is thrown away. Abilene picks it off and we're headed the other way. Another foul by Lady Lions. That one's called on Anna White. That'll put McDonald back on the line, shooting two. McDonald back on the line, first shot's up and in. 
makes it a 14-point Abilene lead. Megan Livengood comes back into the game, takes Jordan Crossan's place. McDonald's second free throw attempt is up and it's in. Extends the lead to 15, 39, 24. Minute and a half to play in the game. Many apps across the timeline. Get it down the corner to Alderson. Alderson back out to Perry. Skips it across the court to George. George goes up strong. Just rolls and there's Live and Good for a shot and it's blocked from behind. Just over a minute to play. George picks off the rebound. Minneapolis headed the other way. You get that ball that far down there, you need to put it up. I can't explain why you don't put a shot up like that. So 35 seconds to go in the game. Lady Lions trail by 15. And Brooks steps in front of that pass and picks it off. And then turns around, throws it away. Abilene headed back the other direction. Last 20 seconds. Minneapolis man to man. And then White comes down with the rebound. Six seconds to go. Lindsay gets the ball across the timeline. Rip Pichel puts a shot up and it's off. And that's the way the game ends, 39-24, Cowgirls. Well, Mike, I thought we had us a chance there in the first, after the halftime. Ladies look good, play good defense. And then the wheels fell off in the third quarter. Lindsey Perry finished the night with three points. Alyssa George with six. Anna White with four. Megan Lavin good two. Mallory Goff with five. And Jordan Crossan with four. Well, I don't know. Good. They played just as bad the second half as they did good the first half. So that, just, it was a tale of two halves. They, uh, well, I mean, first half was really decent. The ladies, right there. Good offense, good defense. This broadcast brought to you by the MHS linebackers. You'll be able to catch this replay on channel 37, Minneapolis cable. I'd like to thank Mike Perry for running the camera and helping out with the call of the game tonight. Lady Lions' next action will be next week in their uh, midseason tournament. So until next weekend, or next week, uh, we'll see you later.